what is a hard drive? How do you actually back up your files? Which ones do I recommend? So to start off, to go super beginner level, you have essentially two types of hard drive. First is your normal hard drive, right? A hard drive is meaning is that whether you use uh, your laptop or PC or Mac, hard drive means is there, there's a spinning disk in here, right? That's constantly spinning and writing when you wanna put files on it and when you put files off of it, right? When you wanna copy it or you wanna copy and then up, delete, X, Y, Z, you're constantly writing on this spinning disk, right? There's a big spinning disk, which is why it explains it's this size. The second type of uh, storage device or external drive is what we like to call an SSD, also known as a solid state drive. This currently is the one that I'm using is the Samsung T5 portable SSD one terabyte. And as you can see the difference in the size is that this guy, there's a spinning disc and you can actually hear it running when you plug it into your USB. This guy, there's no spinning or physical moving drives and is essentially just one state. Hence SSD, there's no moving parts, right? These are your two different options. The third option that you can get into is more of the bigger external hard drives. This is an external Seagate as well, eight terabyte hard drive. And if you wanna get super fancy and more higher end, if you have to worry about multiple drives failing, there is something called a RAID system. And this guy is essentially this and the external hard drive on steroids. And essentially there's four drives here and how you back this up is that you put one file onto here and it will copy the same file four times, four different drives. So if this drive fails, I can still get it from this drive, but I'm not gonna mention that for this video and the, unless you guys want me to go into it specifically. And it's pretty heavy. So for your beginner video editor or you just want to back up files, whether that's your family photos or your videos, I recommend anywhere from a one terabyte as a minimum for storage space because that uh, it will allow your average person to store more than enough video files and more than enough photos unless all your videos are 4K, right? I would recommend this is my first purchase that I made as a videographer video editor when I first started out and link is in the description but this is the Seagate one terabyte drive the only thing I don't like about it is that over time the thing with external hard drives is that the speeds will slow down as well as you're more prone to wear and tear and I'm not bashing the brand but Seagate is not known to be the most highest quality external drives but it has lasted me three years now and i do use it here and there but it is not my go-to all right and the basics of how you actually back up your files onto a drive i'll explain that in a bit on my laptop but for the purpose of this i would recommend this if you're on a budget yes get this to have it backed up but what what i would recommend instead of having that external hard drive is getting yourself this guy, right? This has really fast write speeds compared to that external drive, it's solid state drive. It is the Samsung T5. Why? Because it is small and compact. Look how small that is. Write speeds are a lot faster and it connects via USB-C while that connects with USB 2.0. So this is one terabyte faster write speeds, and I recommend this guy. If you can actually edit from this externally, you can edit photos while you're actually viewing files on this. And I, I myself have found the preferences between these two is that this guy is a lot faster, compact, and yes, you're paying a little bit more, but this is the guy that I would 
recommend if you're especially a starting out videographer, photo photographer, all that. And this is more for your budget person who just wants to have something to back up, right? And if you are, you yourself are the sole proprietor and you own all your videos and you have a massive amount of storage and you need to store your files in case they get corrupted or deleted, then you might want to look into one of these guys. This is an eight terabyte Seagate drive. Really, what I don't like it about it is that it is bulky and it has a little power brick that goes along with it. But if I had the option, I would get a bigger SSD as well as look into cloud storage and get away from physical drive backups. But I'll talk about that while I show you guys how I back up my video files in Premiere Pro. So let's yap in more action. So when you buy any type of drive, you want to format and back up your files. So for demonstration purposes, I'm not going to actually format it because I would delete all my video files. But what you, you want to do before you install or start dragging and dropping files into your drive is you want to right click and hit format. It will then open up a box that says quick format, full format, un unclick quick format and format your drive. Once you format your drive, you're essentially refreshing your drive so it's ready to drag and drop your files, right? And essentially all you need to do to back up your video files is, is it's really simple. All you do is you drag and drop your video files into your external hard drive that you have already bought and plugged in via USB. So y you can group them, you can leave them as is. What you do is drag and drop, you copy and paste it, your video files into here, and it is really that simple. But for the more complicated and advanced method to backing up your files as a video editor is what you want to do is you want to open up Premiere. Let's say this is a full on edited sequence, right? Bunch of text layers, a bunch of things. And what you want to do is make sure you save that project file. Next, what you want to do is you go into file and you go in down to project manager. This will essentially take all the layers and your sequence and you can exclude clips that you weren't used. So you want to check that as well as you want to pick your destination path. Where do you want Premiere to put all these video files, the drive that you would want, i.e. your external hard drive, and you select that folder. You can see it's in the F drive. And now you click Calculate, and Premiere will tell you how much space is available as well as how much memory is actually going into your drive. You click OK, and what that does is Premiere Pro will actually consolidate all your video files that you used in that timeline that you selected as the sequence. Now if you go into that exact same file, you can see that there's a copied whatever the file name was. You double click it and it will save all your video and audio previews. If you double click this, it will actually open up your exact timeline in video in Adobe Premiere and as well as it will have the raw video files that you use. So once you double click this, all other properties within that folder and within the already existing timeline will be used and easily accessible because you can use the project manager. And it's also the same in After Effects with compositing or essentially compiling all of your existing footage into its into a, an existing folder, external folder. And yeah, guys, I hope that was a little introductory backup on how what is a hard drive? How do you actually back up your files? Which ones do I recommend? It ultimately depends on your needs. If you're a budget and you just want to back up your files and you're not really a professional when it comes to storing client videos or files, then I would recommend this guy. Links are in the description as well. But if you want to look for something that you can edit off of as well as an external drive, as well as just being able to not have like 500 gigs of 4K files on your workstation or your laptop and you want to like have it separately, I would recommend getting something like an SSD so you know your files are more likely to be safer because SSDs are more safer than external hard drives as well as making sure you back up your video files on multiple devices. Meaning, if I write something on this guy and this guy gets corrupted, 
Luckily, I still have this guy backed up. And third, if you want to look into something like Google Drive or Dropbox, that is another way of having cloud storage so you don't have to deal with having physical drives. So my key takeaway is when you back up your files or video files, you want to make sure that your video files are saved in at least two different locations, whether that's your local hard drive, your external drives, as well as a cloud storage. So knowing that that day comes where everything just gets corrupted for some reason, because the reality is if you constantly write onto a drive or a memory card or SD cards, things will fail, right? So it's always good to have a little bit of peace of mind, but not get over paranoid. And those are my recommended drives that I use for work as well as myself. Link is in the description if you want to check all those out. And my name is Peter and you're watching Broke Visionary Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers.